Hey what's guys, welcome back to the channel. On this episode, I want to talk to you about the Serbo GX and powering it and getting it connected over PoE and or Ethernet, right? So a PoE is PoE is powered over Ethernet. Ethernet is obviously this cord, you know, uh, using RJ45 plugs. But anyways, the point is you may want to power your Serbo GX over PoE for whatever reason, right? Or you may want to get it connected using Ethernet from very far away for whatever reason, but there's a few reasons why you might want to power the Serbo GX over PoE, right? One of them being, let's just say for whatever reason, you have the off-grid system installed somewhere far away from your residence and you know, the Wi-Fi connectivity is not that great because you can't get it there. So you may want to be able to just run one ethernet power over there, right? And then also power the device, that way you can get it connected to the Victron portal, right? That's one. The other option is you just don't want to install a bus bar to be able to power this Victron Servo GX. That's another option. Anyways, there's a, there's a whole slew there of reasons why there may be a reason why you might want to power the Victron Servo GX over PoE. And we're going to show you how to get that done because as you just saw, we plugged in the Ethernet cord and the power came on. The screen works and everything works as intended, right? So we're going to get into how you can accomplish that. Stick with us. All right, so as you can see right here, this is the Serbo GX. This is the GX Touch 50. It works. And currently, this Serbo GX is being powered by this black Ethernet cable, which plugs into this PoE device, which then takes the power DC power out of here, plugs it into this power connector, and takes the Ethernet out and connects it to here, right? So if you want to take a look at the ethernet connection, it doesn't really matter if, even if you see the information about the IP addresses and stuff, mainly because, uh, I'm going to change it to a different ethernet system. Anyways, on the guest network point is you can go take a look at it right here where it says ethernet and you can see it is connected using this Mac address. Here's the current IP. If I wanted to connect to it, all kinds of fun stuff, right? So right here, we can go back to pages. This is what's happening. This screen, uh, touch connectivity, the display, everything works as intended. Right now, the inverter is not powering anything. That's why there's, you know, not a lot of power being used. But the point is, if you have a Serbo GX, you can power it using PoE, even though the device officially doesn't support PoE, right? So this black uh, Ethernet cable that we have right here, if we take it out, all right, is a, a standard Ethernet cable, which the other end of this is plugged into my Unify PoE switch, right? So then I can plug it into this PoE uh, device, which this device takes the PoE capability of this connection, uh, separates the power and sends the power out of it to this DC cable, which then plugs into this uh, Serbo GX. The connectivity part of it comes out of this cable, which then just goes straight to here, uh, the ethernet connection, right? So uh, in my case, I'm close enough to have both a uh, Wi-Fi and the ethernet connection, but for whatever reason, you may wanna just be able to do this or just Wi-Fi or the other. Or in my case, you don't wanna do double tapping of the lug, so you just wanna be able to power it like this, right? So um, this connector is pretty straightforward. The way you would really want to do this is uh, this device comes in a box, and it comes in a box with a bunch of, uh, like a, a set of instructions, right? So this is the PoE splitter, takes uh, power, power out here and, uh, data out here and you can get if you don't have a poe switch you can actually just get a poe injector use it and then get the power out on the other end just think of it as powering like you know like low voltage power over ethernet right uh, that's one way to do it but if you have a poe switch you obviously don't need that uh, poe injector so uh, that's a pretty easy way to do it i don't want to keep unplugging it and plugging it back in here but this connector here the dc cable that it comes with the part with the stripe on it not sure if you can see it very well the part with the stripe is actually connected to the left side or the right side of this connector in case you want to look at it uh, i can pull it out here and show you real quick pull it out so this is the victron connector that uh, comes with the servo gx it comes with a red and black wire which uh, is automatically defaulted and uh, set up in this connection but if you were to use the poe splitter device you just cut the uh, dc barrel connector you strip the ends in my case i put a ferrule on it right and then the 
a striped part is the one that goes on the right side. So I believe the striped part is the positive connector, a positive wire, there we go. So that's how it's connected like so. If I wanted to get power to it, you just connect it right back in here and you connect it uh, back to here and it will start powering on. I was worried that it wouldn't have enough power to power the screen, interact with it and the Servo GX, but considering the Servo GX is really just like a, you know, amped up Raspberry Pi or something like that, uh, it does actually work pretty well with the screen functioning. So that is huge, right? Because, you know, it's displaying LCD power, um, and you know being able to interact with it while the chip inside of here is running is huge So it takes a lot of power to do that not a lot obviously but enough to get it done But you can run P o uh, the servo GX over PoE if you have this little device So this little device can be used for any number of reasons I think in a long time ago I used to use it at a job where we used to use uh, phones over PoE, but the phones weren't PoE uh, possible, like conference phones and stuff like that. We're talking about ages ago, almost every conference phone nowadays uh, is PoE capable. But the point is, uh, if you want to get this done, that's how you would do it. So if you want to pick up this device, uh, we picked ours up off of Amazon. I'll throw some links in the description below in case that's what you wanted. But it's easy to use, straightforward, plug and play, you are ready to go. So that's how we got our PoE working with the Servo GX and I uh, hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, have a great day, get back to work, and we'll see you guys next time.